So you can see here, I have created some masks for some images that I made. Yes. And uh, if you, if I double click on it, you'll see that the red is the mask that I create that I made. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make, I'm going to bring in another image of a face and I'm going to try to crop that to fit it on the face right here. So I'm going to bring in an image, just plop it on the on the, the stage and hit return or enter to place it. Then I'm going to hit uh, click the image and I'm going to hit the quick selection tool and then I'm going to hit select and mask and just do it by hand. So I'm going to first I'm going to start with the um, quick selection tool. I'm just going to go around the edges and it'll try to figure out what it, what I want. It's doing a good job. See? Now I'm going to try to get to the hair. And it's doing good. It's doing good. Oh, but then it pops it pops all the way to, up to the top. Which is fine. Cuz what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click the brush tool and work on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the minus, which we'll, what, we'll, what we'll do is paint. I'll be painting onto the uh, mask. I suppose it's just uh, taken away, which is good because I can use the brush to take care of the stuff it painted up here. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to hit the space bar to get closer uh, and I'm going to try to get that hairline so far so good all right okay now there's a part in the hair so I'm going to hit the close bracket to make the brush smaller and try to get in there and try to get that back all right all right I'm going to hit go back a little bit I'm going to hit Capacity, I'm going to see it at 100%. It looks like a pretty good mask. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Output Settings and make sure that it's on Output to Layer Mask. Because you have some other options here, but the Layer Mask will keep the image, your original image, um, original. That way it's, it's non-destructive. I'm going to hit OK. And there it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the image. I'm going to resize it. And try to fit it over this head over here. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to change the opacity to maybe, yeah, it's good, 50, 60 percent. That way I can make sure the image. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Fits. Yeah, looks good. Let's see how it looks with 100 percent opacity. All right, looks good. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, as you can see, this is an original black and white picture, and I already made the other images black and white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this image black and white. So I'm going to click the image, the layer. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White. Now there are some defaults I can do here. I think what I did was uh, I used the maximum black with the rest of them. But it looks like the image might be a little bit darker. Eh, no. How about just a uh, filter? Eh. See, there's a lot of things you can do here, but I'm just going to do maximum black so it matches the rest. I'm going to hit OK. And that's it.